Hello everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking, where today I'm going to be reviewing and testing the Overmont Dutch oven that I bought recently off of eBay. And here it is. Um, I have actually seasoned this. I've never used it, but I did season it just to um, just to be sure, really, because you never know how they'll come. But uh, I can tell you now, it is a hefty, hefty piece. I can barely lift that with one hand. But as you can see, it's branded on the top. It's made of cast iron. And this is pretty much how it came, um, obviously in a box, etc. So um, in there, you've got, um, I guess, a stand if you wanted to have something in there. I'm not entirely sure. Or what I think it's actually for is more of a stand. So you perhaps put that over coals and then the pot sits up on top. And what I do like is that it comes Let's put this back together. Comes with these these little silicon handles um, so that you can obviously handle it when it's hot, like that. Um, we'll test those later, see if they actually work, but I do like the fact that it comes with them. Um, but today we're going to um, do a little sort of hot pot style just in the barbecue today, see how it gets on. Okay, and this is what we're cooking in it today. Um, just a little bit of, um, it's like pulled pork, but sort of uh, with mushrooms instead of meat today, um, just because I have some mushrooms to use. And we're gonna do this all in the Weber kettle. So I'm gonna use the snake method, which is gonna move round, sort of like that, over the, uh, the oak dowels there. I've got some more mushrooms there that are smoking. So the smoke isn't gonna help the, um, the dish in there but uh, it is going to obviously get that nice and hot and I can't wait to see how this works. So, lid is on, I can't wait to see how this works, we're going to leave that for a few hours and see how it gets on. So let's have a little look, see what's going on inside. Oh, oh that's dried out a little bit. That's okay, we're good. Just about. I'm glad I did check. Wow, that is looking beautiful now. So I've just checked the food and I think it's ready. So we're now going to use the little silicon handles and uh, see if they stack up. Right. There's one. There's two. It goes that way. Okay, I'm just gonna have to wing this now. Okay, so I got it in, um, I couldn't film it unfortunately, but these work really, really, really well. Oh, that is hot. Um, virtually no heat got through, so that's excellent really. Um, really, really excellent. I'm so glad they came with there that. we are. That is looking insane, absolutely insane. I think I'm gonna put these into some fajitas. Um, but I'm loving that, absolutely okay, loving it. Okay, so now I've had a little play with it, I can sort of give you my um, my yeah. thoughts on this. So bearing in mind, this was, I think it was 46 pounds on Amazon. If you want to buy one of these, I will put the link in below. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty good. I think the actual quality seems good. Um, it holds a wicked heat to it. Um, so overall, no real issues. There's a couple of things that you might want to take into consideration when buying a Dutch oven. So first of all, um, sometimes when you're buying a Dutch oven, you might want to put your coals on top, but obviously this is the wrong way round. Like, you know, they could just sort of fall off or you might be limited on how many you can actually fit on top of there. Um, so that's the first thing. I do, however, like the fact that as a standalone, um, Bit of kit that makes effectively a lovely little pan you could do eggs beans whatever you want in there so that's quite nice I like the size of this one um, I like the fact that it is really 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 deep um, these handles are okay but again a lot of Dutch ovens will have I don't know like a little attachment that you can then hook on um, and then lift these lids up so you never have to really sort of touch it by hand as such the other thing that I notice when cooking, and I don't know if we'll see this, is 
it doesn't completely seal. Um, which would have been nice, um, especially if I was gonna go longer. Um, so that's just something to bear in mind because you need to make sure you've got um, enough liquids in there. But it's still a nice bit of kit. It's still a lovely, lovely bit of kit. I'm definitely gonna be using it again and thinking what else I can cook in it. Um, but overall, yeah, not too bad. If you've got any questions, let me know, put them in the comments um, below. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and I'll see you soon.